What's up everybody, Bossa Toys here. Today we'll be reviewing the Lego Star Wars Imperial TIE Fighter. Now, this is a set that just actually came here out this um, year. And I don't feel like pulling out the box, so let's take a look at the instructions. So you get that really bland uh, um, product shot that's a decently good CGI render, not really. But yeah, it does show details enough. And it's just, you know, what we've been used to getting instructions with Vader over there walking to the finish. At the back, you get the parts, rebuild the world. And then you get your other um, sets, ones that came out with this, and then ones that'll go alongside this. But, yeah. It's just not as good as it used to be. So, taking a closer look, we'll go over the minifigs first, and first up is Darth Vader. He comes with a little red lightsaber, take that off so the camera can focus. He comes with this soft fabric-y cape, and arm printing, which is pretty cool. And underneath the helmet is this different head mold, which is pretty cool. You got some back printing which is very minimal but it's nice it's there but yeah really nice vader leg printing all around good figure Let's see if i can't contrast it with my hand a little bit to see some of that detail because he is all black so here is a tie pilot now i'm assuming it might be like what they fly might change their pattern on their helmets or not i'm not entirely sure um but yeah, he's a really nice pilot. Focus camera. Got leg printing. Really nice details on the helmet. Doesn't have any of the silver markings, which does make him different from the other TIE pilots. Really like the helmet. He comes with this little pistol, and it's pretty cool. Now, this is an admiral who becomes a Grand Moff, who wears the white um, suit like Grand Moff Tarkin does. I can't remember her name, but she does have, like, the admiral badge, the two security pins, the belt, no hat, but a really good hairpiece. Really like how they did it. Minimal back print. Um, no second face, which is unfortunate, because they could have easily included one. She also comes with a black pistol, which is nothing new here, but really solid figure. And then you have the um, star of the show, the Gonk Droid, who uses one of the cargo bins from the um, Imperial Iron Marauder. And you can fit stuff in it, take it off and whatnot. It does still say cargo right here which is funny. You've got the Imperial logos on the side, which is a great um, reuse um, of this piece. Really like what Lego did there. He's got the, you know, the little ingot piece for the face and all. Very nice gong shroid. Really happy to have this in my collection. You got the little feet. So moving on, we'll go to the, um, well, before we take a look at this, we'll actually take a look at this cart. Now this is a little side build that comes with it. You get these two bombs, which you just slide in here and they wiggle around, but you don't you can sh don't really have to worry about them actually coming out unless you want them to. So that's really nice, really cool to see that. And I don't know why you'd put the admiral in there because this isn't really her job, but you can. Is she supposed to stand? I'm guessing. I'm guessing she's supposed to stand and you can have her drive it. And she can. Wait, I don't know. I don't know how much the camera missed. And she can hold the little bars right here.
and there goes the front of it. But yeah, she can. I'm trying to reposition it so she's not leaning all the way back. But yeah, she can drive it around as they say in the box. There's just I will say this is a very weird minifig selection because you get a TIE Bomber Pilot, a Darth Vader, and an Adam Noir, uh, not you, Lauren. Um, I don't remember her name. It doesn't say it on the thing, and I can't dig out the box. Um, according to my very good research, she's race alone. So, Vice Admiral, so she's not exactly an Admiral yet. But... It's really weird, like, they have her as her rank in, um, I believe Empire Strikes Back, because this is the 35th anniversary of it. So, that's a pretty cool thing. But, yeah, so, you have Ray Sloan, Darth Vader, and TIE Pilot, but yeah, so, um, I, it's just a really weird minifig selection, like, Ray Sloan, cool. We didn't see her in Empire Strikes Back, um, but it does it. I like that we get an admiral in this set, or a vice admiral, admiral, same thing. What com really confuses me is the Darth Vader, because he's come out, and um, I have two different sets currently that have one. I have the Imperial Shuttle, and this set. Now, while that's not bad, it's just he came out in the um, LB1 versus Darth Vader fighter. He's come out in just a bunch of different sets. I don't know why they decided to put him in here, but it's a good, it was a good way for me to get him with arm printing, so at least that's something. Now, actually, getting along to the piece of lay is lost. <laughs> Peacefully resistance. We have the Thai Bomber. Now this set is actually really, really freaking sturdy. Really freaking sturdy and I love it. So looking at the detail, you have what appears to be very accurate and that's lay dust. So that's something. So you get um, a lot of good detail. The wings are strong. They're not in a you know, bend in on themselves. They're not gonna just flop around if you shake it. And that's really nice. Um, you can grab it and just, you can just swoosh him around. He's very swooshable. You can reenact this. And looking at it, that's pretty spot on. Like that, that's, that's pretty good, yeah. Uh, really good, um, fake, um, sturdy build. Really like how they got the tube portions of it done. I really like that. It looks really good. This printed piece is really nice. Really great to see. And there's not really much in the way of stickers. Like a lot of what's in here is printed. So that's always nice. Now, it does have a play feature. Is you push down here. And yeah, I just bombed Iraq. Can I make that joke? Is that joke too much? Will I get threats for that? Maybe, I don't know. Who cares? Um, he also has stud shooters. And they're the new ones, and they actually fit really well in the build. Um, if you notice here, it's very blocky. So, they actually captured that pretty well. And, um... Yeah, no, I really like how they did this, because it looks, it's one of the closest things I've ever seen to a Roger Rabbit effect, because this looks just so spot on, especially from, like, this angle. So I'm really happy they got that down. Now to reload them, you just flip them over, find a hole, and is it in there? Yeah, so it operates similar to flick fire missiles, and that's not the worst thing I've ever seen. So you can open up the cockpit, 
take this man right here and just slide him in there and he stays in there pretty sturdy like he's yeah he'll jump all out and everything but like he's not moving around a whole lot in there especially when you I don't know why I lost clutch power especially when you can you hear him? No. <laughs> exactly. That's that's what one of my favorite parts about this big set is is he doesn't really move in there so you don't hear him rattling. Let me just reload these for personal preference. I really like how they're made out of they're yellow and not like gray or anything. Cause it just matches like the military esque setting of it. It doesn't look too out of place or feel out of place. Of course, I would have preferred the transparent blue. But yeah, a point of contention for some people is you can't see through the actual cockpit. But that doesn't really bother me. Now, one of my favorite parts about this is... how well it scales with other TIE Fighters. Because these are the two smaller TIE Fighters that not everybody enjoys as much as I do, but it scales super well with them. And I really like that. And then it's a fighter escort, so it's a great addition to your Imperial Army vehicle-wise. However, army building-wise, I don't think you'll get a lot of value out of this. And for 60 bucks, which is what I believe it was on sale for, hang on. God, my computer's so slow. Oh, uh, yeah, I do have a computer. I don't know if y'all picked up on that in the last video. But yeah, I have a computer now, and it's freaking awesome. Um... It only has 4 gigabytes of RAM, so I won't be doing too much gaming on it, yet. Yeah, for about $64, it only comes with 4 minifigs, and I think a 5th one in there would really justify that price. But I, I'm really happy I picked this up. I think I picked it up for 68 on Amazon, so that was unfortunate. But yeah, really, really awesome looking set. Very spot on. And for a lot of people, it might be too small, but I mean, shrinkflation is a thing. It's getting expensive. Well, it's more expensive to like make these sets and thus ship them and put them on shelves. So I understand why, why they're making them smaller, which technically makes them cheaper than what, like if we got what we got in 2014, we'd be paying like fortune on them. So I'm really, I don't like that they're getting smaller, but I do like that they're getting better. Because in 2014, this would have been a blocky mess. And a lot of people don't like to hear that because 2014 was the best year for Lego. Clone Wars wise, but if you look at a lot of the sets from there, they were blocky, um, fragile, and just not as sturdy as what we have today. Don't let your nostalgia blind you. They they do look good. They did have great minifigs. They but they don't really hold up today today to 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 today's standards. But really good for army building vehicle wise. I want to pick up another one, and then I want to get two Fang Fighters versus Interceptors. Um, but, you know, I have to get the money for that first. Um, speaking of money, um, I do have a tip jar. It's my cash app. If you wanna, go for it. If you don't want to, you don't have to. It's not something that's like actual commitment. But yeah, really good set. I do recommend, um, minifigs are about a 3 out of 5. Um, simply because there's no fourth or fifth one 
and Admiral Yularen didn't get the dual moded legs. If she got the dual moded legs, it'd probably be a 4.5 out of 5. But build wise, the build is not the worst I've ever seen, and it's definitely nowhere near bad. I give it a 4.5 out of 10, and that's really because of this right here being flimsy. And I get why they have this here opened, but it doesn't look the best. But overall, 4.5 out of 10. Um, if it was either a little bigger or had like a little hidden button that could push these down, instant 5 out of 5. But it is a great set. I do recommend it. Um, if you can find it on sale, definitely pick that up. It's just a no-brainer. But if not, it is worth the sacrifice. You do get some pretty great minifigs. And this Admiral Yularen, Race Alone, Yularen, where is Yularen coming from? But this um, Vice Admiral Race Alone is very exclusive to this set. And the TIE Pilot's a dime a dozen. I clearly got two, more than that one. But yeah, definitely recommend picking this up. Now, without further ado, I have to leave. Bye, guys.